Good morning vlog, I'm Tony Fine, your Fine Fit sister, and I teach you how to have a healthy, sustainable relationship with food through portion control. And we are 25 days away from my first ever bikini bodybuilding show. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go, go, go. Off, I need to go to the gym. I need to get on TikTok Live right now, do my morning TikTok Lives where we talk about weight loss, how to create a healthy, sustainable relationship with food through portion control. And then after that, I need to go to the gym earlier than normal to see my trainer. I need to also eat my next meal. I eat six meals a day right now, and I already ate meal number one, and I need to eat meal number two before I go work out because how are you gonna work out with no carbs on your tummy? Then after that, I'm going to, um, go get a test done to see how I can burn calories more efficiently. And I'm taking you guys with me. It's called a VO2 test. I just went to get a DEXA scan last week to see my body fat test. While I was there, they offer other tests like um, metabolic tests, which I've done before in the past multiple times. That tells you how many calories your body burns. This is the secret to weight loss. There is no fucking secret. If you know how many calories your body burns, then you eat them calories like right there. You'll either maintain your weight. If you eat less than that, you'll lose weight. If you eat more than that, that's how you're gonna get big. That's how I got to be 225. So metabolic test is just everything. So if you wanna have an at-home metabolic test, just click the link down below. And then it'll tell you, um, you can go to my website, enter in your information. It'll take like 30 seconds and it'll tell you how many calories to eat. So that's it. It will literally tell you how much to eat in order to lose weight. Then you can get a matching meal plan, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, or gluten-free. That'll break down how you eat that amount of calories. See, that's the hard part. A lot of people know they're supposed to eat a set, a set amount of calories, but they're not hitting it because they're overeating and they don't weigh out their food and they make it with oils and butters, whatever. So don't do that. Just get a sample meal plan. So instead of getting another metabolic test, because I already know my metabolic rate, I'm going to get, I don't know what kind of test it is. It's just a VO2 test. It's, I'm gonna have to do a, a shit ton of cardio. Like, put a mask on. I need a bigger memory card. Put a mask on. I have to put a mask on and then um, ride a bike. Like, do exercise, exercise, exercise to see how many calories my body burns and in what zone. So when I'm going to work out, I can be most effective with my workouts. Ain't that crazy? Because right now, I be running, jogging, skipping, hopping, shit, and whatever, just trying to be like, am I gonna burn calories? I hope I burn calories. I'm praying I burn calories. I can actually take this test to see how much activity I should be doing in order to immediately get to fat burning stage. So that may mean that I can work out for 20 minutes just fat burning versus an hour and not burning any fat. So that's why we going. I need to get my watch. I need to get a bigger memory card and I need to and get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's. <laughs> because I think this test is gonna be like 30, 40 minutes. So I wanna film the entire thing so you guys can see and so I can see what the hell going on. But anywho, getting ready to get on TikTok Live, just posted all my videos at 7 a.m. Um, I'm getting better with like doing content. The day before yesterday, I stayed up to like nine, um, which is late because I wake up at 3.40. I like to go to bed at seven, eight. But that's okay, because I got the work done and it's gonna continue to get done. Let's go to the gym. TikTok Live is awesome. Outfit, wild, but we rock with it. Of course, we're my waist trainer, Nike top, blue lemon pants, and Nike um, blazers with my mouth 5280 socks. Uh, let's not be late to the gym. It's a quick 30 minute session. All right.
I made it from the gym. Am I late? A little bit, only like two minutes. Is that a lot of lateness? Kind of technically it is. Um, I'm filling out paperwork. All right, for reference, a VO2 test is a maximal exercise test performed on a treadmill or a bike while connected to a machine capable of analyzing your expired air. <laughs> okay, what that mean? <gasps> to see what my body is doing when I'm working out. So if I should be working out hard, if I should be working out easy going, if I should be walking, I want to see what I should be doing, not what I think I need to be doing. Everyone is a little bit different, and I want to see what my different looks like. Thing. Oh, and cool. then um, we're going to actually have you wear an EKG as well as the mask when okay. you're doing your actual VO2. So okay. It's going to be real fun. Yes! <laughs> it's all like professional. <laughs> Dang on. Oh, excellent. I just came from the gym, yes. so. Cool. <laughs> not too sore, right? No, no, okay. no. It oh, was, I was like, smooth sailing. Thing that I'm like, ah. Good. 110 over 62. Perfect. All right. And know that whenever you're working out, you're kind of, you're working out smarter. You know? Smarter. Yeah. It's kind of how I like to. To do it so that's what i want um, and i guess my dad says he, he's like a lazy person will find the fastest way to do a job it's true <laughs> uh, let's hurry up and get there same thing that you're going to want to do as well okay. so you're going to want to make sure that you're just pushing till your absolute max um two forms of fatigue one form will be just you can't catch your breath and you're just done um, or your legs physically cannot push through the next level of resistance but both are signs of cardiovascular fatigue okay first i'm gonna have you um, before we do the mask i'm gonna have you just take a seat right here. Exercise, nutrition, hormone, if it's like needed, like optimization, nutrient balance, all that good stuff. First, again, it's just a little wet. Um, that looks. Want to sip of water or anything first? Uh uh. Exhale. Okay, I want you to do another one, but I want you to blow air up, so like by your eyes. Do you feel anything escaping right here? And you're good. So I'm gonna have you stand up carefully, of course. <laughs> and, and then I will adjust the uh, heightening, dizziness, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, stop the test, shooting pain down the arm, chest pain, stop the test, all of those things. Um, I'm gonna be my So we're at zero watts of resistance right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the first little bit, which is just 30 watts. Mm -hmm. um, but if you cannot push through that next level of resistance, meaning you cannot keep that leg green, then that's another sign the test is over. And then we're gonna start increasing, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, your heart rate's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase you now. And we're gonna go up to 60 watts of resistance. Thank you. 
anymore. Test was definitely tougher than I imagined. I was really in there sweating. Sweaty Betty. <sighs> good, good, good. We'll see what that means, but also that was a good reminder. Like for me, my cardio, it never gave. Whenever I'm supposed to do cardio, I'm supposed to be moving my body and I don't. And that means I'm just wasting my time. So I, I need a number reminder of what to be at in order to move my body, but also a physical reminder. That was a good physical reminder. That is what a workout feels like. Workout. Workout don't feel like a walk in the park where I could be on TikTok at the same time. Workout is workout. So focus on working out. Okay. So um, this is your this is your VO2 test. Mm -hmm. um, looks like a bunch of numbers. So this is our VO2 cheat sheet. So mm -hmm. between 28 and 44 is your average healthy adult. Mm -hmm. um, you fell today at a 29.9. That's barely. So you're just in that one. Do you do a lot of cardio now? Like, or is it more strength? Workout. More strength. Okay, so all I would do is I would just start adding in some HIIT training and then zone two training. Have you heard this term before? Uh, yes, but what does that mean? Okay, so mm -hmm. zone two is what we consider um, our fat burning zone. Is so. this maybe because this is my first time like uh, getting ready for a show and while I look physically fit, like I want my heart to be all like I would I would want to be. I would want to be way, way, way higher. So mm -hmm. how how could I be way so higher? So I think too, with your show, are you like restricting? Absolutely. You, you're in this restriction. Yeah, section. I have okay. no carbs. So, so yeah, yeah. I was going to say the other aspect of this is probably because right now you're in this cut phase. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're in a cut phase, your energy, you're just not going to be able to go as far. Okay. Between 103 and 109. So again, this is not that intense. Mm -hmm. Two to three hours per week of cumulative mm -hmm. zone two training is really what you probably should be adding in. Okay. So your recovery, I really wouldn't drop low, lower than like 134 just because it's gonna be too hard to get back up again. Okay, so when I'm doing my hit is usually on the treadmill okay. and then I'll like go from three to six, three to six. But mm -hmm. when it, instead of that three to six, I need to go from 134 to 150. 60. I'm lazy. I'm yeah. very lazy. Yeah. And I need to I need to take it up a notch. But not even that much. Yeah, no. You're doing not great. Even that much. You're doing great. Thank no. you so much. Of okay. And how much is our total today? Um this is 150. Excellent. So I'm back. I got my results from my VO2 test. Love it. Great to know. Um what I received from it. My okay, thoughts on it. I wish it was higher. Whether it's me being competitive, I don't like being on the low end, the low range of a healthy heart. Yes, I have a healthy heart, period. She was gonna do that anyways. But shit, I'm an overachiever. I want a real healthy heart. But you know, as she broke it down to me, it's like, okay, the only people who would really be in that level of healthy heart, competitive runners, you know? That, we talking about cardiovascular. I don't spend a lot of time doing cardio because I don't like the body that I have when I did cardio when I was a marathoner. So my, my heart health is proper. She said she would like to see me in her 30s and I was like a point off. It's for my look that I'm achieving. And um, also, you know, maybe it's a little bit lower than I would like because I'm depleted right now. A bitch is not eating because I'm doing my competition in a couple weeks. So that was good to know. So next steps, I'm gonna get a heart rate monitor and or a good Garmin watch so I can track my calories and track my heart rate.
I want to start working out based on my heart rate solely. I've known for years that was the way to go. Now I know where my heart rate should be and I'm going to start working off just solely based on that. Right now when I do hit, like I said, I do hit and it'd be like three and six. I'll go from three to six. Nah, I want to go from 106 to 115 heart rate. Ooh, now I know I'm hitting it. I think that'll be really important for a person like me because I am numbers motivated and I think getting testing like this every couple of months is going to be really effective with just maintaining the body that I love and a healthy heart and just a great relationship with, you know, life. It's, it's a good assessment. Hey, make sure we're doing everything right. Hello. Oh, good. I was just telling vlog. Anywho, vlog, that is it. Y'all stay tuned. I got another vlog coming. I'm doing good, right? Peace.